The Aruga Podcast. Somehow somebody's always looking the other way. Now look at these guys. They look busy, right? Yeah, but do you know how you know how many mil or not you know how many billions she made off of her last tour? Like four. I'm That's pretty crazy. sure. I think she made four billion, dude. Off of her last fucking tour. That's which is, finessing on a different degree. I know. It's amazing that she's even trying to date a football player. Football players make nothing, dude. Compared make, to her, yeah. <laughs> That's fucking pebbles. That's that's his sugar mama right there. <laughs> that is that is his sugar mama. And if I was Travis Kelsey, I'd be like, yeah, she's wearing the pants in the relationship. I know Yo. I'm a football player, but like, you know, Yo. she's the fucking businesswoman. <laughs> Welcome to the op. Be sure to check out Aruga's shop. We make shirts and hoodies that are comfortable and stylish. Follow at Shop Aruga and visit arugastore.com. That is O-R-U-G-A store.com. Beat produced by Saipuda. Check him out at saipudabeats.com. Hello, Kahayo. How you doing? I'm doing great, Mr. Preston. You know, you just got off the phone with Mr. Bangles Tickets. Mr. Bangles Tickets. <laughs> which was fucking awesome. And I liked how his interaction was because before he was like, you told him, I want the, I want Bangles and Steelers tickets. And he's like, um, well... You and everybody, bro. You and everybody <laughs> want the Steelers game and the Buffalo Bills game. So yeah. maybe we'll do the Browns at the end of the season. How about that? And you're like, yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, we'll do that. And then he was like, you know what? Actually, I'm going to make a few calls. Call me back on Friday. I yeah, might have the Steelers tickets. <laughs> it's insane. It's Super a generous nice. guy. What a generous guy. He was offering like, good seats, too. Like, what kind of seats? I don't know. What, what are good seats to you? I don't know. I don't, like I've, I've never been to a football game, but he, okay. was, he was like, "Have you been to a football game before?" Because mm-hmm. I love going and seeing them up close and stuff like that. Okay. And I was like, "Oh wow, this guy must have some money or something." Right. And then like, are we talking about like fifty yard line? I have stuff? no clue. Are we talking about like? Are we talking I about end I'm zone? Not. End zones are cool, and then fifty yard lines are cool. I don't know anything about football, okay. but all I know is he's offering good seats in his opinion. Mm-hmm. So we'll have to we'll have to wait and see for sure. Yeah, which is insane. I don't think you. I don't think as like a as a spectator, you don't really fully ap- appreciate how fast these guys run and how it's like a moment's notice where they where they have a window to be able to catch a football in the end zone. Like, right. it's such a narrow window that they get. It's re- like, when you see it up close, you're like, fuck, dude. No wonder these guys get paid so much. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. <laughs> Me and you can't do that shit. <laughs> the TV really does take away from a lot of sports, especially, like, the Olympics. Yeah. Oh. When you watch the Olympics, you're like, these fucking Our losers. Are slow as crap. Right. I can do that. And, and you actually try. Mm-hmm. And also, I think, um, I think f- sports really lack in frame rates. You know, it's like 30, the traditional frames, like, um, per second, it's about 30 frames per second, okay? Right. But these people are running so fast and plays develop so quickly that 30 frames a second is nothing. Right. <laughs> like, it's nothing. Even Com- watching it in, like, slow motion is kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, it's hard. It's hard to, like, think, like, how they are, like, it's hard to be in the game if you're not in the game. That's why I don't like watching sports, honestly. Because like, really, I hate the fact that I'm so disconnected from reality. Mm. I'm watching it. I'm not really there. Mm-hmm. I'm not really running the race. I'm not feeling the wind. Yeah. I'm not trying my best. I'm not sweating. Right. It's just like I'm just watching. All right. It's like when you you get benched at a game. Like if you're okay. playing football and you get benched, you probably hate it because you're just watching. You're spectating. You actually mm-hmm. want to play be a part of it totally fair 
totally fair. But I'll say that I've been obsessed with UFC recently. This past, like... That's a game I don't want to play. <laughs> Dude. The past, like, couple months, I, I haven't been watching TV. The only thing I've been consuming as, like, a media is the NFL and UFC. And every single night I watch either the NFL or the UFC. And I'll watch a couple fights a night. And just to see two people stand in front of each other and just throw bombs of punches, left, right, uppercut, body, kicks, getting kicked in the shins, getting kicked in the knees, getting kicked in the body. It's like, as a spectator, I've only watched it on TV. You know, I haven't gone to a UFC fight yet, but I see. it's so exciting to watch it. Oh my gosh. These people are going to war. Same thing with football, though, too. People are going to war on a field. Yeah, and you sure. get to watch, like, you know, who's who's the better opponent. I was watching the, like, the what is it called? The featherweights. Okay, yeah. And, dude, they're like ninjas. I was watching on the TV mm-hmm. at Marble at the restaurant. Mm-hmm. And this dude, like, kicked the guy in the temple. Yeah. Just, like, something you'd see out of like a Jackie Chan movie. Like mm-hmm. it's just insane. The speed and the power and the precision. Right. And like whenever this guy was flexing, even though he had like such a small stature, his muscles were bulging out of his arm. It's like yes, he dude. had an orange and then like an egg on top of it. Like what's going mm-hmm. on? It's insane. And I, then, I've been watching uh, this guy called, or his name's Justin Gaethje. And so, Justin Gaethje is like an, an assassin with his legs he's one of like the best kickers in the ufc and like in a certain i don't know if it's current if he's one of the best kickers but he was renowned as one of the best kickers um a couple years ago and man he fought uh, dustin poirier and he knocked him out by kicking him in the jaw and it's just like bro you knock somebody out by just kicking them and obviously it's not just kicking you know, I mean, your le- your limb as a leg is, like, fucking really muscular. And if you do all the proper technique, obviously it can be a very traumatic yeah. weapon against somebody. But still, to see somebody, like, have all the balance in the world just to be able to execute a kick like that, it's so incredible. That's you nice. really, like, I don't want to see these people in public. Yeah. <laughs> like, Imagine how you felt, oh like planting that into someone's face like know. you know like the satisfaction you get when you like line up a punch and you like hit a punching bag or some mm-hmm. shit it's just oh, like yeah. kind of satisfying like if you like punch a water bed or you know what i mean like just okay. punching something weird <laughs> okay. i don't know sure yeah 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 you yeah, get like, like a lot of satisfaction like oh damn i swung my arm so perfectly or like when you throw something like you oh, throw a ball and yeah like, just, just dude go so perfect I was playing uh, pickup games at at the rec center recently, and right. there was just this one moment where I did. I'm I'm a jump shot like mid range guy. I don't I don't shoot threes. I don't go for layups. I'm just mid range, and I was getting guarded by one of my friends who's like six foot three. Okay, right. Jacob, you know Jacob. That motherfucker is tall. Yeah, he's, he's got long ass arms too. So when when he when me and him are playing basketball and he's defending me. I'm always doing a little, like, um, sidestep backwards and then doing a fading shot just to get enough space between that motherfucker and I so I can get a shot off. And there was just this one moment where I do that. I do the step back and fader, and I drill it in his fucking face. And I was Jesus. like, gross, let's so go. So it's not just pool. It, you no. harass people in basketball <laughs> yeah. as well, especially and, tall people. And you know what I was saying after I drilled that shot? I'm him, bro. I'm oh him. <laughs> Somebody stop this guy. Somebody stop him, please. Because I am him, I promise. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Lance uh, confidence. It's did I, the roof. Did I tell you that... Um, it was yesterday. It was literally yesterday. I saw somebody with a sweatshirt, yep. um, and it, on this guy's sweatshirt, it said, I'm him, with little stick figures going around. And I was like, and I looked at him. We were walking on the sidewalk, you know, or going, to, going against each other, walking, right. against, I'm walking on the sidewalk. 
And I looked at him, I was like, I am him, bro, I am him. And he looked at me, and he looked down, and he just kept walking. That's like hilarious. I, like I didn't say anything to him. And I was like, that's so sad, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to harass you. I thought we were going <laughs> to have a moment right now, but nope, nothing. That's hilarious. <clears throat> the youth nowadays, they're just so oppressed. <laughs> that's hilarious. They don't know how to think for themselves. I had a, I have a friend, old friend. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, when he used to work at Sam's Club, Miller okay. Lane, Dayton, and he, okay, he actually went to a UFC fight, and yeah. was like super close to the cage. Cool. And he said like, "What city did he was?" I don't know, but okay. he said he heard like the two UFC fighters like, you know how they do like the little checks when they kick each other and yeah. the shins, mm-hmm. and he was like, you, "You, like that sound was like ridiculously loud. Like it just sounds like." You're hitting two rocks against each other. Like yeah. Just, like, tsh, tsh, right. Like, it's just brutal. Like, you don't really, you don't really think they're kicking each other really hard when they're doing those little checks, but they're mm-hmm. just fucking going at it for sure. And for how quick they are, you know, it's funny when like it's funny when a announcer is like, "Oh, he didn't really throw that kick very fast," but you're like, "What? <laughs> like That's against not- against me or you?" Yeah, I wouldn't be able to move out of the way. I, I'm falling on the ground from one of those kicks. Yeah. And it's very interesting when, let's say, one of, let's say, a UFC fighter throws throws a leg. Let's say, let's say he tries to kick to a body, all right? And the defender grabs the leg, and now one guy's hobbling around, trying right. to get away from and trying not to get taken down. And then you'll see like all these little defenses going on of like, all right, you have to put your legs in this position so you don't get taken down. And then once, you know, and then there's also the issues of like when people are trying to grapple you and then putting putting their arms around you and then trying to like shove your legs up so you fall into the ground. And then you have to like, as a defender, you're trying to defend the takedown, and you're putting your legs really wide, and you're trying to be a fucking wide ass person. So you're like, you have a lot of stability. There's a lot of shit that goes into it, and for how many like little situations there are in fighting, or at least in UFC fights, it's very fascinating. And to see all the fucking back muscles on these guys, yeah, dude, it's insane. These guys have like engineered their back muscles to be like for every situation. Like, these guys are so well-trained. It's phenomenal. Like, I, I was thinking about this last night. Like, I'm gonna, I want to start, um, I want to start doing, like, heavy weights on my legs and start, like, trying to see if I can get my legs jacked just to see how it'll feel. Because, like, I bet, you know, you got your legs jacked. I'm sure you could walk a little bit easier. You can run a little easier. <laughs> like, it just seems like a nice... I feel like when it comes to working out and maintaining you know fitness sure right it's it starts like at zero like if you think of it as a graph you start at zero mm-hmm. and you start working out and sure. it slowly starts to increase mm-hmm. but then no matter how high you get once you stop after a day or two days or even a week it will eventually start to dwindle mm-hmm. so unless you keep up that you know working out staying healthy fitness in general right it'll just go away Mm -hmm. which is unfortunate right it's not and that's the thing with fitness it's not a destination it's the journey man it's the journey which is funny because like i've been trying to teach myself this as well that like i need to work out every single day yesterday i worked out and i like I did a heavy workout yesterday and I've been like trying to work on like balance with weights, you know, like you can fucking pull up, you can do like heavy reps all day long, but what I'm trying to work on is like balance with decently heavy weights as well, you know, and just like seeing if like I have body synergy and, you know, just like trying to make sure like I, I've been, um, like weight balls and then just like having like balance of just like moving that weight ball around with my arm fully extended out oh my god that's, insane. that's a hard workout i ran cross country and track so i i started my sophomore year and i finished my senior year mm-hmm. but i made sure i made it to like every practice mm-hmm. and if i didn't like i'd do something at home yeah there was probably about a month in those two years where i like didn't work out a little bit less than a month 
I okay. did run. Mm -hmm. And so basically I ran like every day for like two years. Yeah. And my time compared to like the world record was like I was within 20 seconds of the world record for my race. Okay. Which might sound crazy, but... Those 20 seconds. Yeah, they those, matter. Those 20 seconds matter. Yeah. yeah. So I was running like a two minute, one second, 800 meter. And the mm -hmm. world record's like one minute and 48 seconds. Something okay. in that range. So, I don't know, like, I thought that was pretty impressive. Like, I think if you do, like, do it for a year every day, like, mm -hmm. you will definitely get somewhere impressive. And you'll be impressed right. by yourself. Yeah. Totally agree. Even, like, um, like a basketball has been a side hobby of mine for years. I mean, like, in grade school, like, yeah, I played basketball, but I wasn't really serious about it. And still today, like, you know, it's just, you know, shooting around or whatever. But doing five-on-fives, like, f basically basketball games, and doing it for, like, I don't know, four or five years now at the rec center, like, over time, I'm getting better and better. And it's like, it's getting more fun and more fun as the games go on. And like, it's, it's really interesting because if I like started just like my, my path as this being a hobby, as basketball being a hobby, like I've, I'm getting more enjoyment as I'm doing it longer because like, I'm, you know, I'm learning more things. I'm getting more um, information to pull from. I've seen a lot of basketball now. So I like, you know, you get kind of have like those little tricks and of the trade and see what works and see what doesn't work and yeah i mean if you keep putting work into a hobby or a sport i think it's so fun it gets yeah. more interesting as it goes on i think the hardest thing for me right now is there's so many things i can do that it's hard to pick one mm -hmm. and i tend to venture off to other hobbies yeah it's really hard to just stick to one yeah for me personally and then also like man Working all the time. Right. So trash. Yeah, dude. I just want to, like, I know. be a freaking creative dude all the time. I don't want to have <laughs> to be a slave anymore. Right. Yeah. my rent. Yeah. It, it, it would be nice to just have hobbies. Like, pool, dude. I, I could play pool for three hours a day. I'm sure of it. I could play pool for three hours a day. And I would be totally fine with it. <laughs> like, sure. As long as like I'm having the rest of my life is very satisfying and I'm doing work and I'm working towards goals. But if I still had enough time to play three hours of pool each day, I would for sure. Because I cranked out an hour and a half yesterday Jesus. of playing pool. And it was so much fun because I was just like, if you get those moments where you like, uh, like if I'm not hungry, I have water. I have all the time in the world. I don't have anything to do. Uh, let's play some fucking pool. And I was like hitting some crazy shots. There was one shot I hit where I got three of my stripe balls in a hole with one shot. What the crap? I wish I was recording it. Because it was like I was only thinking about one of my stripe balls. But the thing is I got two others in from that one hit. And I was like, fuck yeah like it was just so crazy because i was dog shit at pool three months ago right. before i moved into this apartment but like you know at this apartment complex they have a you know a community pool table and nobody uses it so like it's so fun to like it's so fun to use it all the time that's right that's pretty nuts pretty nuts mm -hmm. i can't wait to put a bet on you at a bar and be like Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> after this, after this recording, we might just, we might just have to play another game. No, no, no. no you no, sure? No. You talk it so much shit. Depends on if I have time. If I have time. That's fair. That's I fair. Might, I might skip this class. I don't know. It depends. I don't know who's presenting today. Mm. We have a guest speaker. Oh really? Yeah. Their teacher is saying something about. Uh, or should I say, professor is saying something about a. Another local solar company. Okay. I forget what they do. This is Something basically your end. To give a little context to your uh, to our listeners, um, Kahaya's class is a energy class, basically. If you want, if you want to boil it down to like it, the title of the class is solar solar panels for Africa, right? Yeah. But it's really just an energy class of like how society gathers and collects energy. Yes, sir. And dude, we and he wants solar so bad. 
God, you took me on a tour. What was that? Thir- last Thursday? When was Last it? Thursday, yeah. Last Thursday. Miami Fort Power Station. Dude, we went to a fucking coal, coal power, power plant. plant. Yeah. How fucking cool was that coal power plant? It's pretty fucking dystopic. It's pretty it, nuts. It's, I mean, like, when I say cool, I, like... It's really a pun for coal, but <laughs> wow. wow. Anyways, um, it was just very fascinating to walk through that through the coal power plant because, like, we walked through like a little, like, what was it? a conference room? We saw like we walked through yeah. this really nice conference room, and then Got we to the break room, and I was like, yeah, the break Jesus. room was crazy looking because that looked really it was right underneath, like. One of their old reactors. Yeah. And you even said, like, you should be covered with, uh, what was it, asbestos and stuff? Asbe- asbestos. asbestos. Yeah. yeah. And they had to, like, <laughs> they removed, like, so much crap out of it. So you're just in this room, and there's a giant metal, like, tank floating above you. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's like you're it an so underneath in- a fridge. It was so industrial, too. Yeah. When we were walking through, there's pipes m- everywhere. Pipes everywhere everywhere and you're like there's no way that any worker here knows what every single pipe is there's no sure. there's no way yeah. there's pipes everywhere there's leaks everywhere and then there's fucking like what what was that flammable substance that we were talking about before there's potassium not potassium sulfur sulfur yeah. there's sulfur leaks everywhere and we're like and they no we literally were pointing them out like oh there's a sulfur leak <laughs> oh there's a sulfur leak (laughs) you're like what dude and it was funny so much coal dust the first the first part of our tour at this coal um coal power plant was they were showing us the main like warehouse where they move a lot of their equipment around and they're like showing how this was built before 1940s because they're like look at all the look at all the decor look at all the little um designs that doesn't happen today. This was made in 1920. And you're like, damn, dude. That's like really fast. They're, it's really like a timepiece in there. It is. It really is. Like, it's pretty crazy. What What was up with those clocks? Like, do you remember what he was saying about those? Oh, their wasn't old that, control panel? Yeah, that's what it was, wasn't dude, it? Dude, I have a photo of that actually on my phone. But they, our tour guide said that we're not allowed to post any photos. Yeah. So we, technically, uh, listeners, we really shouldn't show you any photos that we have. Unfortunately. Which is really sad, but uh, we'll describe a photo. <laughs> hey, what's, what? I, they end in 2027. So 2027, right. they're going to have some Miami Fort. Power station merch. <laughs> so they're pretty fire. And some damning photos. <laughs> Anyways, um, so there was, yeah, so in this main warehouse that they first enter us into, they were showing a vintage power control panel that was showing all of, like, um, it had clocks on it, had gauges on it, and it had, like, pressure gauges, I'm assuming. And phones, too. And they had to, like, yeah. talk to, I think they had to pick up that phone and call you know, someone else had another control station to, Mm -hmm. like, get intel and stuff. And they were also explaining to us how these um, pre-internet facilities or just industrial facilities would have multiple different gauges everywhere across the uh, factory. So you would have to, like, if you wanted to shut down the plant, there would be, like, four or five different spots at the plant you have to have people on simultaneously turning everything off. You can't... There is no, like, easy shut-off valve, right. which is very fascinating, which totally makes sense because there's so much going on at a fa- at a coal power plant. I mean, there's just so much going on. And that was really illuminating, too. I agree. Remember the lab? That lab looked so scary, dude. I wish they sh- walked us through the lab. So there that was, would have been crazy. That would have been dude. so cool. So, they were testing water. Yeah. And they had like that old style gauge. It's kind of like, yeah. why hasn't this been updated? Right. right. <laughs> Everything else God. has been you know, pretty updated. I wish they walked us through that because they were testing the water of the Ohio River. And then they were testing like various other things just to make sure that they, there were no leaks and that... Everything is proper, kosher, yeah. kosher, up to up to legal standards. 
That was really fascinating. And I really wish they did show us that because that was a timepiece too. It that little lab. Insane. Oof, it looked like a, if that's the thing, if we were at that factory and it was nighttime and the lights are shut off. Oh my God. It would have been the scariest place on earth to be. But I because agree. we were in a group with other people, we're like, oh, la da 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 da. We're getting shown around, you know? Like, it's it's totally normal. But that place was fucking terrifying if you were by yourself. I agree. And Other you just hear... Like, Doctor dude, Who shit. Like. Dude, and you just hear, like... There's scaffolding and metal pathways. Like, metal... Yeah, me- metal scaffolding to walk through this entire facility. And if you were by yourself and you just heard, like, metal... Like that... From a distance, oh my God. <laughs> you fucking yeah. piss yourself. Yeah, that's just <laughs> insane, pit. dude. It, <laughs> that place was terrifying and if you were by like yourself. If you touched the wrong thing, you just probably just fucking like get third degree burn. Oh, like, swing up against the wrong wall, and it's like dark as fuck. So you try and catch your breath, you just put your hand. And gone. we were walking. We were walking right by the furnace. Right. Which was insanity, by the way. So, like, we're walking in this, we're in this, in the facility, and we're walking right by the wall of the furnace. And if you're wondering how hot is it in this building, it's 120 degrees in this building. Right. And they're keeping the doors open because they're like, we need to air this thing out. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, but then there was another part. So, that was the furnace part of the facility. But then they took us to the basement where the water cooling part of the facility was and um and they had electric heaters yeah plugged in and i was like are you, i i think it's water purification that's what they're doing down there yeah are you sure yeah, really they, he was saying uh, something about sandbox that's right that's something that they do to purify water it's like because a little lab down there they had to purify the water for the steam to go into the turbines yes yes okay but anyways um, so we're in the basement of this facility and it's hot near the furnace. Like there's so much heat and heated air that it shocked me when we went to the basement and they plugged in electric heaters to heat up the basement. And it's I'm cold in there. It's cold. And I asked the, I asked the, uh, our tour guide, I was like, you guys couldn't figure out any way to like redirect hot air down here. It's like, no, it's just easier just to plug in some heaters. And I'm like, what? You're, that's like so much energy wasted. You're literally wasting so much energy. Yeah. How crazy is, is that? Out, the way, out into the air, isn't it? All that hot air from upstairs is definitely just going outside. It's just going outside. You're just, you're just creating an oven. Yeah. yeah, it's wild. I mean, like, the thing is, I'm, I'm not educated enough to be like, coal's bad. I'm not, and I'm not damning how we get electricity because what we're, we're podcasting based off of coal right now. We're podcasting based off of coal. That coal factory is literally powering what we're talking off of right now, which is craziness. But it's like, I'm not educated enough to be able to damn it, to be able to hate coal. But it's also like, man, that facility was crazy because there were leaks everywhere. And I asked our tour guide too. I was like, "Why, why don't you guys like clean up these leaks ever?" And he's like, "Oh, they're not really big enough deal for us to stop yeah. the whole thing yeah. and to clean everything up." And I was like, "Man, that's that's not really <laughs> that's not positive, is it?" <laughs> I mean, like if you think about it, like if they don't, if the leak's not like the leak could be way worse. As he was mm-hmm. saying, like a little bit of steam coming out would honestly like fill the whole room yeah. with steam if it was like that type of leak right you, that would still be a small leak but it'd be foggy as crap right right and right. then they'll, they'll take care of it mm-hmm. but like if it's something where it's not causing something catastrophic if it's just like a bucket that you need because of the condensation from the pipe yeah yeah you're yeah, saying yeah. like yeah might as well just put the bucket and then once the machine is like getting maintenance on we'll address it that's that's what they were saying which just totally crazy. makes sense, you know, like, it, you know, it's it's not affecting our efficiency. We're not having catastrophic things happen at the facility. Why shut the whole thing down and fix leaks that don't really do anything? That's what they were thinking. Which I, all right, that's is cool. It, I, I get know, like, it. It is risky. It definitely is risky, like, because that sulfur, 
It's flammable. That's, you know? And there was, they were, that's the funny part. Is we yeah, were sulfur, oil, probably like ammonia. Coal dust on the ground, too. Dude, so much coal dust. So, so much coal dust that I literally, I, 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 washed all my clothes i had to <laughs> fucking wash my shoes to make sure and we were walking through one floor that i asked the guy i was like this floor looks like it's been pressure washed what's up with that he's like that's like that's not pressure washing we vacuum the floors i was like vacuum the floors why and he, he's like well there's coal dust everywhere so we have to vacuum up the coal dust so it doesn't get flammable Right. All right. They can only have so much. They can, <laughs> right. And you're like, dude, that's a scary thought. Okay. But then on that same floor, there was those sulfur? Was no. It? That was a different floor. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, you're right. That it was, was a brighter. different floor. That's the only reason yeah. why now. <laughs> right. That's true. It was brighter on that other floor where there was leaks of sulfur. Yeah. Just against, um, I don't know, it coal wasn't grinders. Even going in the bucket. Uh, yeah, it was a pulverizer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pulverizer of coal. So once they've once they've grounded up the coal, then they shoot the coal into the the furnace. Furnace mix of like what air or something. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't. It's it like was a, hydrogen cooled too. We were having that conversation. The furnace. Before, yeah, was we were having nuts. conversations about that before the podcast about how they cool down the furnace with hydrogen. Which is crazy because hydrogen is super flammable. Yeah. And That's was, just like one of the... Though. They also have it water-cooled as well. Yeah. And they were saying that if... if We were also in the control room of this coal power facility. And they were saying that the, the head honcho guy, the, the top guy who's the operations manager, was literally saying to us, if we lose fire in the furnace and we keep spraying coal into the furnace and then somehow it lights up, after a, after, yeah, after so much minute. coal has been put into the furnace, it could have the biggest explosion in the tri-state, and everyone would feel it. And you're like, fuck, Yeah, dude. he was like... Why are you talking to us? It will get be back onto your job. I'm <laughs> weak. I'm get so to, weak. Get back to your job. What are you doing talking to us? We're I'm fucking so losers. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> fucking focus I'm on your job. Weak. And then he was also pointing to the, t- the, the TV, and he was like... You know, I usually I like to check out this one camera, but the camera's out today. In so. the control room, yeah. <laughs> Which is <laughs> also really wild. You're head like, honcho. fuck, dude. He was built. Dude. He was a head honcho, yeah, wasn't he? He, he was, was like, he fucking just, he stood with the position of power. He definitely, you could you could see it in his spine, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and the way, he, the way he held his coffee mug, too. <laughs> he looked fuck, like dude. the rock in what, Fast and Furious? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah he was he was like he was so scary to ask a question to but i definitely asked a couple of questions to him too i asked him about cyber security and he seemed annoyed by that <laughs> yeah he doesn't he, did, he seemed like he wasn't a, about the new the new age of the no. computer stuff yeah like still old-fashioned trees and coal you know he was very like old-fashioned but then there was also another guy in that control in that control room that looked identical to oh my god uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, <laughs> dude. The, he looked identical to Leonardo DiCaprio, just a little fatter. Just no little. offense to that man, but like it was so fun. I was literally staring at that guy. I was like, dude, that is Leonardo DiCaprio. What is going on? What? But yeah, that was, that was pretty crazy. That tour was really <laughs> really fun because you just like. We didn't learn shit, you know? We were you, <laughs> No, you did. You did. Look at you. You're talking about all this cool shit. I thought you didn't know half that shit. I didn't know any of it. But yeah. what I will say is, though, like, we walked through a facility, and 99% of the stuff that we walked through, we didn't know jack shit what was going on. We were just okay. walking through the facility. That's true. Like children, and which is f- so fascinating. Do you want to see the video about, like, how... It works? No. On a bigger scale? I, I cannot give oh, a like shit. A minute. It's like a minute or two long. All right, fine. What is it? You know what? I wish I knew. You wish you knew? I wish I knew. Okay. Well, here. Before before Kahaya pulls that up, um, I have a palate cleanser. And that is, you know how I've been obsessed with uh, people owning wild animals? Oh, no. And so I have a video of a, a panther, a person owning a fucking panther. 
And so, is this the video? I wonder if this is what if I've seen this. Oh, so yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh hell no. Dude. Hell no. Isn't that crazy? Meet the gent yeah. yeah. Wouldn't fuck Heck, that no dude. Way. Fuck that. No. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I know. Yeah, no. It's so crazy. Alright, do you did you ever find that video? Um it might be this one, but this one's twenty minutes long. Jesus. Yeah, I'm okay. I don't need twenty minutes long. I'm gonna, yeah, that's, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's crazy. Um, maybe if I click this one, the two minute one will mm -hmm. pop up. And then here, here's another, here's a crocodile cuddling with a fucking dude. I get it. YouTube is getting me so much shit for check this out, dude. Look at this alligator fucking. Yeah, no. What? Just, just chilling on a couch with this, with this guy. It's always a white guy. It's always the white guy with a fucking animal he shouldn't have. God damn. It is fucking crazy. All right, so what's that video? It is this video. Yeah, tell me what it but is. It's called uh, How... How? Maybe I can find another one, but it's called How Coal Fired Thermal Power Stations Work. <sighs> How Coal... Yeah. I'm an idiot. You gotta keep, you gotta keep telling me what it is. Coal... Fired thermal power stations work. Thermal power stations work. <clears throat> There's a four minute one. That one might be more bearable. This looks so unbearable. <laughs> Wait here, let's check out this video. This is um Oh, there's one that's two. You find it? This is literally what we were seeing. Yeah, this is sure. literally what we were seeing, dude. You gotta save that video. I will save it. Cause this is exactly what we were looking into. Yeah. But it didn't look like that for us. I I saw well saw, I didn't see any jets of fire. If you so the thing is, okay, so it's funny because we were actually on a corner. We were on the corner of the right. What do what do we want to call those again? What, just a boiler boiler thing. I don't know. Uh, heat. Shit, I don't know. I, furnace. Let's call it a furnace. Anyways, it so the first the wall that was closest to us didn't right. have any. But then on if you like looked over to the left, oh. there was there was one. I see. And yeah, that's crazy. So we'll have a visual for you guys on on the YouTube page if because you keep going. There's like a two minute video. Okay. Calm down. Keep going. We'll find it. I swear. Uh, yeah, right there, right there. Okay. Okay. Maybe maybe this will this will be cool. Hopefully, this will kind of describe what we're what we were seeing. Oh. The video the teacher was showing us. He they were telling us like all the byproducts that they'd make. Like they'd make I think CO two. Okay. As well, and they'd actually like tank it up, you and you know people can use that for beverages. The province. Coal is shipped to the station by freighter or train, where it's then transferred to the coal yard. There, yeah, so we saw one of these. Straight Same straight shit that straight. we saw as we saw the um, coal go into. Well, I'll, I'll mute it. A actually, series of conveyors transports the coal into the plant, where it passes through enormous pulverizers that grind the coal into yep. a fine powder. Yep, prior that's where we were. Mm -hmm. The pulverized coal is. And the pulverizers is where we saw the sulfur yeah. leaks, which was crazy because they were just kind of like glancing at them, like, "Oh, yo, you see that yellow." Yeah, what is don't. that? What is that? What <laughs> is that yellow stuff? Any guesses? <laughs> so, all right, so we go from the pulverizers and then we... Head into a large industrial furnace that yep. is surrounded by boiler tubes filled with water. 
Yeah. Yep. The intense heat from but inst- what we there, saw. They had the water, but they also had like a sleeve around the water. It's either around the water or the whole furnace, and it's just hydrogen gas. And that's yeah. only for one of the furnaces. So I think they had the a newer different... furnace, right? I don't know. I think it's older. How many? I think they had like what thirteen. They had only two working furnaces. All the other ones were decommissioned. That's crazy. So that's like one of. We didn't see both of them, did we? We only saw one. Okay. So and I the think they one. would show us the safest one, right? Yeah. They wouldn't that's show us the did. damning one. Yeah. They would show us the fucking safest one, the, the newest one. That's my because it was, they were saying it was built in the seventies and then pretty much like patched up in the nineties. I see. Because I was, I was being kind of a schemey person, and I was at the back of the group, and I was there was um, labels on a lot of the equipment on the date when it was um, made or re- refurbished. A, a st- uh, what's the word when it's um, I don't know installed? Should I call this person back on what? the podcast? Georgia first, and I called earlier. Should I pick it up? Pick it up. Who is it? Right. Hello, hello. Hello? Hi, my name is Kahaya. I was speaking to you about a... I mean, I called you regarding an apartment or a house for rent. Yes, um, the property is still available for rent. And this is also um, moving ready, okay? Okay, okay. I put my heart, my blood, my sweat, my tears to this game, and... History. We in the record books. The Aruga Podcast has united with the Galactic Federation. With worldly symbols and alien logos, we celebrate our galaxy with new merch. Hope you love it and Godspeed. There we go. Hello. Sorry about that. I got a phone call. Hello. Hello. Yeah. That's cool. Fucking asshole. <laughs> I would have rushed you, but I'm not well, going to. Anyways. I can't just not pick it up, you know? Oh, yeah, that yeah, was like yeah. Life or death, you know? No, I totally understand. All right, all right. Let's continue then. The burning coal keeps the water. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. Do you steam. care? Yes. This guy's such a fucking. Large pipes to Dude, that's how it looks. Yeah, it is how it looks. Flow that pushes the blades of the turbine, causing it to spin. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That no turbine is proceed. connected to a generator that contains a rotor. Large electromagnets are attached. Yeah, I'm bored. To the I'm done. Oh big. my god. I'm bored. Oh my god. That's the why bearings. I, it's just you know whatever. The science. The science, science rules. Science rules. <laughs> Fuck out of here, dude. Like it was cool to walk through the fa- the coal facility, but like at a certain point, you're just like, how many years is this taking off my health? Because I'm walking through like. I, I felt like I should have walked with a hazmat suit on, dude. Like, that was not, like, a... Not kosher. It just didn't feel like good, breathable air. Fair. Did you feel like when you're walking through here, you're like, this oh. is this is max peak, like, peak health right here. Definitely not. Definitely <laughs> yeah. not. Dude, but for sure. When I go outside in Cincinnati, I feel the same way. Like, Stop man, it. I'm going to die from breathing this. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> dude, there was a... When we were first walking into the uh, the coal factory, or at least let's say the coal power plant, um, the parking lot that had the workers parking their cars there, some of the workers were covering their cars. And you're like, why are you guys covering your cars? This is weird. But then you start figuring out, oh, everything has a film of coal over it. Yeah. No shit. No wonder you're fucking covering your car. You don't want fucking coal residue on your car every single day. Yeah. And then, we, yeah, that was fascinating. And then, like, when we, we went through, like, some, what is it called? The spinning doors? Is that what you call them? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And Just, like, a security door to get us through. Right. Mm-hmm. And everyone touched it. And before we even got in the plant, everyone had like coal. a coal mark on them. Yeah, <laughs> that was funny. It's like we're already dirty, dude. My That's hands insane. were completely covered because I fully palmed one of the metal bars. Bars. <laughs> yeah, and I like That's then I looked back at my hand. And I was like, "Fuck, dude!" 
And I was like trying to be nice because I was like basically like holding a door open. That right. was basic the basic thing I was doing. And I just got coal all over my hands. I couldn't do shit. Yeah. And then I I was the only one who washed my hands out of my entire <laughs> group. You, your girlfriend, my friend Riley. That's healthy. It's good for you. Dude, that was fucking ugh fascinating and it wasn't like I, i'll go back to this it wasn't damning like i didn't wasn't like oh cole's the demon but like it's not mercury you know it's not mercury yeah that's for sure but it's just like it also wasn't that was very it just wasn't cool <laughs> i don't know it just wasn't like a was, oh this is like a water park <laughs> like yeah, it no, wasn't no, of course not. i bet yeah i bet the hoover dam is more interesting oh i want to go to the hoover dam so bad dude the Hoover Dam would be a fucking cool place to check out. It's a rock marvel. Yeah, so much poured concrete in one spot. We're about to go to the waterworks. Hopefully they let us fucking show pictures. That'd be dope. Dude, the waterworks would be so Since fucking fun. Dude. Have you seen their like uh their symbol? For what? Like their logo? No. It's so I think it's pretty cool. Like, what are you talking about? Cincinnati Waterworks. It's They like, have a uh, logo? Yeah. I'll just look it up. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll okay, just look yeah. it up. Cincinnati. It's very inspiring. I kind of, if I were to start my own business, I'd do it like <laughs> that. But instead of being WW, it'd be KK. Two initials. I, it, why? <laughs> you're such a do, do the logo a little. I will. I will. Yeah. <laughs> KK. You're, you're 1K off. But it's like a W. Inside of a, and w. a w. Yeah, it's so cool. And the W inside's all swiggly, like water. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah, I would agree with you. That's interesting. It's pretty dope. It's fascinating. Yeah. Oh my god. It's cool. very inspirational. Yeah. Yeah. And then after we went to the fucking coal mine, you you drove me. So we we go back right. to we go oh back to god. our our meeting spot, and then it's you, Ashley, and me. And I was like, "Yo, you guys want to get some dinner? You know, it's like fucking eight nine o'clock. Have eaten yet?" And you guys are like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, let's go." But you, you, Kahai, were like, I got a spot, bro. I got, I got it. a spot. I got, <laughs> I got a spot. Let me take you guys to this place. And me and Ashley are like, how do you, what? Okay. All right. We, far, we start following you. And you're like, this is the place. This is the place I wanted to this go to. And the restaurant you have us go to is a fucking bar. It is a bar. So it's bar food. And then Martino's. as we are sitting down, we hear a fucking dance food party happening upstairs and it's literally like line dancing so you just hear like death and destruction of people's like stomping their feet above you and you're like oh this is cool and then so what the bar does to mitigate the sound of tap dancing above you they turn up the tvs to (laughs) 11 not 10 to 11 and we're literally shouting at each other to even speak we were shouting at each other it was a great time god can I, I tell you? I enjoyed it. Can I tell you? What? All of my leftovers are still in that fridge. No way. <laughs> yeah. Every single one? You haven't even taken a bite? I just looked at them and I was like, <laughs> this is, this is, this will, this will hurt my insides. <laughs> Dude, I'm still I'm recovering. Crying. I'm still recovering, like, my bodily functions <laughs> That's because hilarious. of how greasy and how bad That's that food hilarious. was. I mean, That's like, hilarious. I feel bad for you guys. You guys spent a fuck ton of money. It was like fifty dollars for yeah. your guys' meal, which is bucks. insanity. That was literally our. That was our dinner for like two days. Really? Saturday, Sunday, fuck, and Friday. I don't know how you guys aren't dying from grease like infections. G- grease poison. Grease, grease poisoning. poisoning. Yes, dude. Absolutely. I will give you some fun facts. Tell so, me. What the guy who suggested this place to me mm-hmm. works there, and he's been working there for years. And he told me that the DJ there was so that room upstairs they don't own anymore. Okay, and there was a DJ that worked there, mm-hmm. and he DJed for Mac Miller. No shit. Yeah. Okay, I don't know his name, but how the does, fuck did that? Are you sure? That seems like a such ass. a wives' tale. Okay, all right. That's all I know really about that. And then I do know that back in the day, they didn't have, you know, that support beam that were like, I hope that support beam doesn't snap and the whole floor comes tumbling down. Yeah. Back in the day, they didn't have a support beam up there. Okay. And okay. the f- whole floor, like people would go up there to dance and stuff. And the whole floor would just be wobbling. Yeah. Like it'd be concave in, concave uh-huh. out, concave uh-huh. in. 
That sounds like my, That sounds like my last apartment. It's pretty nuts. It's the same deal. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, they put that support beam in, but yeah, you. Eh, that ain't helping. <laughs> that ain't helping. No. <laughs> that ain't helping. Those support beams are like, uh, you know, hopefully you stay around. That's that was such a horrible experience, a dining experience. By the way, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I yeah, okay. a hater. I I'm I I like the finer things in life. That was not the finer things in life because then, um, I it doesn't even matter. There was people at the bar who there was a football game on and it was the Chiefs, the, right. the Chiefs football game. It was, it was Thursday night football, and Thursday night football, the Chiefs. You know who's gonna be there? Taylor Swift. Yeah. Because Taylor Swift is fucking dating that guy. Banging. Uh, Kelsey, what's his first name? Travis oh, yeah. Kelsey. Travis yeah, Kelsey. Travis yeah, yeah. Apparently Travis they're Scott. dating, and everybody at the bar was like, "Boo!" No way. Boo! You you didn't hear, hear that? It. You did not hear that? I didn't Stop hear it. it, dude. Yeah, people were upset that they were um, on the TV. They were showing um, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Yeah. Oh my god. And it's just like okay, whatever. Like I didn't really give a shit, but it's like, dude. You're you're adding to my already headache. You know, I've been to a coal. I went to a coal factory, or a coal power plant where just loud noises twenty four right. seven. Then we go to that bar, loud noises twenty four seven. It's just like, dude, shouldn't have thrown away his earplugs. You no, I God, I yeah, I still have those earplugs somewhere too. But that's hilarious, mm. dude. Taylor Swift is not that good looking, in my opinion. She's Would okay. Eh, she's okay. I mean, like scale one to ten. I think she's like a three. Are you <laughs> pushing a four? Okay. What are, what are your she's numbers? A, she's an attractive woman, but like not something I would strive for. Give me the numbers. I need the numbers. You need like 10. a monkey number, bro. You yeah, need, I need like the math. A, uh, out of out of ten being my full satisfaction and one being like I just no. Um, one is like that's a man. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Like, one being that's a man. You know, <laughs> One's being like, that's a man. She's like a five. She's like right in the middle of like, yeah, I can tell she's a woman. I can tell that she's okay, attractiveness, but like she's not not checking off my boxes, you know? You misogynistic piece of crap. I can't yeah. believe you're judging. I can't believe you judged her point. of numbers. <laughs> I can't believe it. Cancel the Ruga Pie. I was the one who was pushing for no numbers. I would just be like respectfully not enjoy taylor swift and her her image um yeah but do you know how you know how many mil or not you know how many billions she made off of her last tour like four i'm That's pretty crazy. sure i think she made four billion dude off of her last fucking tour That's which is finessing on a different degree i know it's amazing that she's even trying to date a football player football players make nothing dude compared make- to her yeah that's fucking pebbles. That's that's his sugar mama right there. <laughs> it is, that is his sugar mama. And if I was Travis Kelsey, I'd be like, yeah, she's wearing the pants in the relationship. I know Yo. I'm a football player, but like, you know, Yo. she's the fucking businesswoman. <laughs> that would be, I don't know. She, she would be like dating Elon Musk if it wasn't for Travis Kelsey. You know, like that's kind of the same like arena, right? Can you, of, can't you wait until she drops a, a song on his ass? Oh, it's gonna happen. Yeah, it will happen. I used to wear red Jesus. and yellow, but now I don't. Jesus. I like Tom Brady. <laughs> That's gonna be the next song. I haven't heard a Taylor Swift song in so long. So She's I'm got some bops, bro. I'm associating your voice with Taylor Swift now. She's got some bops. I'm gonna say that. I mean, I can't hate on Taylor Swift at all because she's made some good songs over the years. Bad blood, cause now we got bad blood. That's her, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. No, I like. I mean, there's some songs, and like, I guess it was like 2000, and she made some really great songs over the years. But I mean, it's not like I'm listening to Taylor Swift every single day. So. Nor do I. Nor will yeah. I ever. I'm no mm-hmm. more into the rap, not R&B. Like, I can't even say his name. What? Stop it! Are you, are you, about to say, are you about to say Drake? <laughs> Drake? Not you Drake. mean my fucking Lord and Savior? <laughs> what if I had a Drake? What if I had a Drake shrine in here? 
<laughs> Give me those like eyes. One of those uh, <laughs> Roman can Was it a Roman? No, it's not a Roman candle. But like one of those candles with like Jesus on it. Oh, yeah. Catholic candles. But instead of Jesus, it's just Drake. <laughs> to fucking make that. That's hilarious. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. A little Drake shrine. Um, yeah. So, you know, I mean, I don't even know how I weaseled him back into the conversation. That's hilarious. What do you think of his last album? What is it called? All dogs don't cry, something like that. For the dogs, for the dogs, for the dogs, bro. For the dogs, that's crazy. Yeah, I did. I, no, 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 I'm just nah, gonna nah. show you the intro. I'm gonna just, I'm oh my, I'm God. not even stop dude, it. We're gonna, stop UMG's it. gonna take down this post. No, he's not. Dude. UMG's gonna take down this. Technically, legally, we have 12 seconds of, of non copyright. It's Drake, it's Drake. He's fucking from Toronto. I'm an American. What am I gonna, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Jesus. Is this it? Yeah, yeah. Like the. Hmm. I love so it. What bro. am I supposed to do for that? Like I, just hide. well, it's just the dogs barking. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the R and B Drake. <laughs> I love That's it, crazy. dude. It's like, yeah, okay. He labels himself as a rapper, and some songs he doesn't rap on. Boo hoo, you know. Lick my balls and taint. I don't know what to tell you, bro. He's still a fucking goat rapper. I think I know a lot of people do like Drake, but the main thing that is the problem, I think, is because he's an R and B artist. And I don't like R and B. Why? Okay, let's. Can I ask you this? Go ahead. Does he have to make music that you absolutely love? Yes. For, for you me to, to like him. To yes. for you to respect him. I'm not asking you, you know to what? fucking like him. I'm you asking what? you to be like, he's getting motherfucking checks. Jesus. I respect the shit out of <laughs> getting fucking checks. No, I can't respect Drake. Really? All right. Then Sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you so something. Don't know Drake. Dude, I'm going to show you... I meet Drake, I can't respect him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's something I saw on Twitter yesterday. And it was that Drake has... Drake now has 13 number one rap albums. Closing on Jay-Z, who has the most number one albums among rappers of all time. With 14. So Jay-Z has 14 number one rap albums in history. Drake's on number 13, bro. Jesus. So who's the GOAT? I mean, I don't have a lot of respect. I don't have a okay. lot of respect for Jay-Z. You're about to okay, talk the me <laughs> Stop me it. Me out. Me out. You're about to get disowned to as a black music. person. I'm you know that, disowned. right? I'm already disowned. <laughs> I didn't go to the, what is it called? The H-U-B-C, you see, uh... Homecoming, like I'm already out of the club. You're already out of the black club. I'm already out of the club. So right, I'm gonna right. speak as an African. Oh, yeah, I got kicked out of that too. <laughs> okay. I'll call, as a Congolese American, the only subgenre I can, you know, associate uh -huh. myself with. I haven't listened to a lot of Jay Z, so I don't know okay. what he's about. So I don't know if I can you respect know, him. Have you never heard Renegade? I mean, maybe. With Jay Z and Eminem, you've never maybe. heard that song. I probably haven't. I'm a renegade. Oh, it's like a motherfucking renegade. I, you never heard that song no, ever, dude. You're missing out on so life. much. On huh? life. I'm missing out on life. I, Musical. It's lyrical, one of miracle. the best songs I've ever heard of out of rap, for sure. That's so crazy, dude. I'm I'm literally gonna play the first hook and to see if you know this song, because renegade. I mean, I love Em or I love Eminem. I love Jay Z. Jay Z has some great bops. So does Eminem. I think I... On you don't remember this song? You don't. No, I don't know the song. Dude. I've never oh heard my this. god, that's so insanity. Oh. Yeah, I haven't heard you. this. Oh god, dude. That song is like a fucking masterpiece. It's literally a symphony of like just rhetoric. I honestly ha didn't start listening to music since like 2016. Mm -hmm. So all I know is like SoundCloud garbage. That's what I resort. <laughs> That's where I yeah. reside. I okay. reside in SoundCloud. Okay. Like, I don't know. I kind of like the trash. 
<laughs> I like the trash. Once you get a little nose blind to it, it starts to smell good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have, um, I don't know. I have a homie, uh, my buddy Isaiah, who always was trying to put me on to Eminem. And over the years, so like I'd start listening to Eminem albums and then I'd start figuring out, then I started listening to Jay Z albums and like, Jesus, dude, these guys were on a fucking other level with writing. And being able in rhyme schemes and just being able to like make hooks were so crazy and yeah I'm not gonna you know, long live Drake you know <laughs> the king long live the king long, long live Drake. Drake long live Drake that's crazy uh, long long let live. me uh let me play you some trash you no ready? I'm yeah fine, I'm playing fine. you some trash I, you some did trash. you ever see this though see uh, Playboy Cardi's uh, Tumblr it's like need a thick white hoe like Iggy Azalea oh no. And then the next one is him with Iggy. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so. Iggy is a good-looking woman compared to Taylor Swift. Oh yeah, her sure. or Taylor Swift. I, it's not even. You know her. that she. Uh, I'm pretty sure she, she looks she, light-skinned. I don't think she is. No, right. she, she's Australian. But does she, That's why. Don't you? All right, hear me out. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. She for... said that she. What was it called when you don't do anything? With your partner before you get married? Oh, being celibate? Yeah. I Having celibacy? She's, she's like that. Uh, all right. Cool. Cool. Is she, though? Because she has a kid. Yeah, she had a kid out of wedlock. That's kind of... <laughs> it's kind of against... Maybe it was after she had a kid she started being like that. Okay. Good for her. That's yeah, awesome. I thought it was pretty crazy. That's cool. I mean, yeah. like, I, I respect it for not, sure. Not a lot of women uh, abide by those roles nowadays. And, you know, it's, I think it's great really? that there's someone to be a role model, you know, uh-huh. for, uh, for the young So, Kahaya, Kahaya, what, what kind of, um, d- d- does your woman respect those beliefs? I don't know. You're going to have to ask her. Oh, Maybe you should have uh, her in the podcast. Okay, okay, talk okay. More about that. Are you sure? Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You don't, you couldn't answer that yourself? Being in a relationship with this woman? Nah, I can uh, I can answer that. You can answer that, right? Yeah, of course. I have no clue. That's a lot of like confusion and like you're not part of that decision making process, exactly. correct? Exactly. Gotcha. Exactly. Okay, okay. Yeah. She no laughed clue. so hard when we were in the car together after that. <laughs> you take a heavy breath. <laughs> when I was when I was saying, um, you know, Kahai, you better be careful. She might take. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my she god! She might not give you pussy for a month, and she was crack lacking. <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, that was All crazy. right, let's let me let me see what you. Some trash? Maybe hear some. Trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let me hear some garbage music. All right, here it is. Some garbage. Mm-hmm. It's Motherfucker, say that I'm foolish. What do you think? No I mean, it's interesting. It's no I would vibe. I would give it a try. I would give it a try, but the the whole Timmy Timmy Neutron or what is it? Oh, that's just you know, wake up, Timmy. You know, that's just that, the producer putting his uh, little tag in there. Okay, okay. He probably stole his beat. Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably did. <laughs> He probably stole it like how the Ruga podcast stole a theme song. Uh, Yo. <laughs> we don't talk about that shit. But yeah, this is Big Choppa, you know, that I was listening Big to. Big Choppa. That song Who was, was the Shun. garbage person you were playing on the radio on our way to that tour? You were playing some real Bro, garbage music. And nah, I was nah, like, nah. I, I don't can't. know why you'd be hating it. It was just the way they mixed his voice was so trash. It sounded like he was literally in a dishwasher. That that dishwasher was in a washing machine, and then that washing machine that was inside or that was outside the dishwasher was also getting sent in a rocket to the moon. It was literally the trashiest mix of a voice I've ever heard. Do you remember what song I'm referring to? Please play it, because it, I wish I knew exactly what song it was. But, but do you know the artist? I, it was probably Eam. Okay. But he's a producer, so maybe it wasn't him. I can't believe you can't exactly remember what song I'm referring to because for how trash the voice was for this, it 
Like, ah. let's go back to that original thought that you're telling me the Mac Miller's DJ right. works at that old, you know, a DJ who once was associated with Mac Miller is now working at that fucking bar as a DJ for the weekends. Do you no, know? No, he was working there. And okay. Then, like, he got associated with Mac Miller. And then. How, dude? We're talking about Cincinnati and fucking Pittsburgh. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah, I have no clue. I can get some more details on it, but. That's fascinating. All I know dude. is that they work together. And he was a DJ for Mac Miller. And he's from Cincinnati. And he worked upstairs as a DJ. Do you know, what his, do you know what his name was? I wish his I did DJ know his name. name. He's he's still up there if right you're, now. Like if you're saying doing... it's germ, I'm going to fucking <laughs> jump on the table. I don't know what it is, but I do know that he's still pretty big. Okay. And he's still doing stuff, like DJ find stuff. Find his Twitter, by the way. Uh, one day. All right, I'll try find, my best. Find his like, Twitter or something. I'll, I'll send you his whole DJ name. Okay, like, okay. What's that? Tomorrow. I'll send it to you tomorrow. Afternoon. Okay, okay. For sure. Uh, now, listeners, you heard that. <laughs> that's hilarious you better send it to me tomorrow um uh, i'll play this i'll play this <laughs> jesus yeah. christ, christ. I, I, I just want to i'm a richest nigga that's not there for me so like that's his <laughs> yeah. like voice that's, that's how he'd be sounding that's so ear rapey it scared the shit out of my me my bad my bad now you're totally fine what do you think uh hmm. pretty is that his voice? You don't like it? You don't like? I just uh, if you're if you're gonna auto tune, like auto tune's a really interesting thing that like I I like natural voice, but sometimes people just don't have a good natural voice, so they're like, okay, what can I do to kind of like a little sound to myself, you're like right. personal something that sounds flyer. Mm-hmm. I mean, people give like shit to Travis Scott for this, but Travis mastered his auto tune. Like he really mastered what his voice was in that in whatever program he used on the computer. He just like whoa, and it was fucking <laughs> made some fire shit out of that, you know. And bless the trap. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, it's so distinctive when Travis goes off of auto tune and just raps naturally, and you're like, "Oh, I can actually tell that he has no auto tune." And then you goes goes to auto tune, you're like, "Oh, yeah, here's the musical part of his voice." You know, like you kind of like I see, yeah. get those two distinctive things. But when you just hear people just like singing, they sang a verse that they went to the computer, they fucked with their voice. And how many forever? How many hours? You know they fucked with their voice, and they're like, you know what? This is okay. This is I'll put this up, and then that's it. They just have that one auto tune, and that's it. Like, I don't know. Have you ever heard Mac Miller's uh, Delusional Thomas? I don't listen to Mac Miller. Really? Yeah, I've never listened to any of his songs. Man, I I will play. I'll, I'll play a little bit just because of like his auto tune on delusional thomas which is an ep that he made under a different pseudonym but anyways uh mac miller had this like really high-pitched voice that was just done so well and it's like a it's a little like off. a playboy cardi like the baby voice type thing it's a that's pretty fire that's yeah, and I like that. So, and obviously, I mean, have you heard his like regular voice? Okay, so I guess I'll play another. Maybe America. Come on, there we go. Was he actually like dating Ari- Ariana Grande? Yeah, he was dating Ari. That's good. This is his normal voice. So, yeah, no. like, would you be able to tell that that was? That those two songs are the same person? No, actually. Yeah. yeah and his voice is drastically different than the. Mm-hmm. And I like how, like, in that Delusional Thomas EP, like, he changed his voice so drastically. And then, like, how he wrote in that EP was very dark and very, like, sinister and kind of grungy. And, like, so it just, like, kind of matched the whole vibe. And um, Did he keep that voice for the whole EP? The whole That's EP crazy. he kept that voice. He actually... It's funny because... Um, he kind of dubs that um that auto tune as delusional Thomas, like as an entity, as like almost like a 
side ego what do they call those like alter ego alter ego yeah yeah so like that's his alter ego is that that voice but then he it's so funny on the last song of that delusional thomas ep he has a song it's uh my grandpa always carried a flask and on that song he features himself which is hilarious he featured mac miller and at the end of it he has a normal voice that's crazy. So, like, you know, through the song, he's, like, doing that high-pitched, different autotune. But then he features himself doing, like, Mac Sounds Miller like some, voice. Sounds yeah. like some Dr. Doom type shit. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? I don't know. Didn't Doom have, like, wasn't Doom also Scarface? Um, or some shit like that? I don't like know, that? man. I don't know. I don't know. It was, like, he he did, a, like, the villain mm-hmm. album. Okay. Mad Villainy. That's Are you talking about called. MF Doom? MF Doom. I Not Doctor Doom. You said Doctor Doom, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. motherfuckers gonna be pissed off. Like he said in what? All caps. He the best British rapper ever. <laughs> putting that all caps in there. <laughs> right, it's MF Doom for sure. I like MF Doom. He has a. There's a lot of cool things that that dude made. Um, Didn't he do that though? Didn't he have like a alter ego feature himself? I've shit? heard of that before. Yeah, but I I don't know specifically what albums and like I I've. I mean, like, I've listened to about three or four of MF Doom's albums and EPs, but, like, it's really hard to dive into deep on everything, you know? I think if I was, like, listening to it as it came out, it'd be easier, but now there's just, like, so much stuff. I know, I know. It's, like, really hard. You don't, I don't like listening to artists back to back to back to back. Really? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Like, if I, when Playboy Cardi's whole lot of red dropped Mm -hmm. i was there at midnight (laughs) yeah yeah i was up all night (laughs) right 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 i went came out i listened to every song all Mm -hmm. the way through and some of them were went hard but other ones i was like man what is he doing right he doing on this track fucking around right and then uh you know i gave it like a good week i listened to the good songs throughout the week Mm -hmm. and i went back to listen to the album i was like man i should did i not even listen to the album like this Mm -hmm. is this other song's pretty fire too. Right, right. Actually, like, like now, I can say I like every single song on his album, Whole Lot of Red. It's wow. Pretty it's that's, pretty bad. That's really shocking. It's um, pretty bad. That's perfect because I have Playboy Cardi on my computer right now. Opium God. Fucking, um, what I'll say is that, like, I'm, I'm an obsessive person, so, like, if I get into a person, I'll just listen to all their albums. That's right. And, um... Like, I was really obsessed with Mac Miller for a while, and I listened to every single album, every single EP, every single, like, YouTube leak. I've, like, <laughs> I was listening to, like, everything, man. And, you know, you just get to a point where you're like, I know every single album, I would buy it on vinyl in a heartbeat, but it's, like, and I do the same thing with Drake, too. I mean, I listen to every single album, and I find myself doing the exact same thing that you did. Like, I'll listen to an album, and I'm like, that's pretty good. And then I'll listen to it a, a second time, and I'm like, huh, that's a, there's a little secret banger right there. There's a cool song right there. Yeah. There's a great song at thirds. So, like, you just start, you start to notice the outliers on the album, and then... And then you listen to it a third time, you're like, damn, I like every fucking song. Yeah. Every song you know, flows. A little bit of the lyrics or even like right. a lot of them. Mm-hmm. And it starts all flowing together. Yeah. Dude, when you, when I find an album that is so good and it flows all together, it's just something that's so special and so spectacular. Because like it, Mac Miller has a lot of these albums where like from front, to back it's just this cohesive work of art that you can just like listen to and it's like a story and it's so cool to listen to same thing with drake dude there's a there's a couple of his albums that i can listen to front to back and it's like a fucking story it's just perfect and there's not a lot of artists like that that little that little soundcloud rapper that you just showed me he can't fucking put an album together like that shit bro he had a pretty hard album not gonna lie really yeah it is called let me go to this it always goes down to your writing bro if you're writing shit then you're a shit artist (laughs) maybe that's a hard take but like that's how i perceive music which music isn't a subjective 
thing. Everybody has their own styles. Everybody has their own preferences. I will say that um, he bases his whole persona off of Beetlejuice. Oh, and, uh, okay. Like all his album covers, he like oh. it's like all Beetlejuice. Like his top tracks, you can see here it's all like Beetlejuice Whoa. covers. This is know. not a cool guy to hang out with. I've never seen Beetlejuice. So. Really? It's a cool movie. I see. It's a really cool movie. It's a great time piece. Um, I mean, it's not like a movie that I'd be like, Kahai, you gotta watch it tonight. <laughs> but I will say that like, as a time piece, it's a very interesting movie. So it's just like, it's just walking into a whole different world of how, I guess that movie was made in the 1980s and just feels weird. Is it a Halloween movie? Hmm. I mean, like a esque Halloween esque, but it's hmm. not like they don't they don't play upon like the traditional cliches of Halloween, I like see. Friday the Thirteenth, or I guess Friday the Thirteenth doesn't do that either. But uh, no, I liked his uh, little playlist called Beetle Diar- Diaries. Cool. I liked it a lot. That's a cool cover too. I like that cover. Cover makes a lot of music too. Man, you gotta have a good cover if you like. If you got a banger album, it's can't pick shit art for it. Did you talk to that one rapper? Nah, he ghosted me. So did, you, I, did he like give you any response or anything? No. So I was talking to this rapper on Twitter, and for like two weeks, me and him were giving back and forth on, like, yo, like I would love to do some like cover art for you. Like I, you know, I've listened to a few of your songs over the years. I, you know. I didn't want to say I was a fan because that's, right. that's always gets a weird dynamic. So I was just being nice to him. And I was like, yo, if, like, if you ever need some cover art, like I would love to do something. That would be awesome. And he was like, okay, so here are my preferences. Here's the theme. Um, I have this song that kind of has like these feelings and blah, 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 blah. So I was like, okay. So, I, you know, like I was sending him images and like I kept editing some images and I finally got to this point where like he was like I really like this photo and I was like okay so I started editing it and I got this image that cooked, I, up. That cooked up and it was great and like every pixel perfect you know as an art piece I really couldn't do any more and once I sent it to him he just like ghosted me do you think it's going to pop up on his next, like... I hope not, because I sent him an image that's easy to send over Twitter. I didn't send him a fucking 5,000 by 5,000 pixel image I that see. he needs. I sent him a fucking couple hundred pixel by a couple hundred pixel, just so... Did he, I like, could... block you, or...? No, like, yeah, I literally... It's on my... <laughs> We're on my computer right now. And I don't want to give that this guy's ad, that's because fire. I don't want, like... I have no hate for this guy, like... Oh, this is not the image I was going to... This was the image that I wanted to show him. And this is the image I was like, "Um, this is it. That's pretty fire. This is it. And I asked him, I was like, do you like this image? He was like, fuck yeah, dude. I love this image. This is wonderful. And I was like, all right, dude. Like, you know, just hit me back up whenever you... However you want to deal with the situation, then just nothing. Emptiness, man. So it's like, it's a shame... And if you guys want to see this cover, it's on the uh, it's on uh, the arugastore.com uh, at the art gallery. And the title of this one, I have to find it. If you guys are really interested, so it's the art gallery on the arugastore.com. And then I'm like, you gotta scroll through. Man, you got numbers on it yeah, already. Dude. Yeah, Jeez. Dude. there's a lot. Oh my of, god, there's a lot of art. Dude, Preston's been cooking. Dude, I have a lot of art on here. Holy cow, you've been cooking, my guy. I know. These guys have been cooking right here. Dude. All right, so the title of the thing is Foggy Night Walk. All right, and you can give me shit for the title of the piece of art, which I totally get. It's just whatever. But I thought it was, I thought this artist was going to be like, yeah, shit, yeah, this is a great piece of art. I'll definitely use this. It goes hard. Like, I, I thought so too. And originally there was a dog and a guy walking and that was the big grievances. Like it looks weird that there's a dog and a guy 
you know, like I just want to, I just want me on the cover, not a dog as well. And I was like, yeah, it's totally fair. I totally get it. So I had is a, that his picture of himself? It's my photo. I won't. You took a picture yourself. No, oh. this photo is. I'll just say it out loud. Is from Wiki Commons. Oh, okay. Okay, so like, I just dug through like basically just stock photos, just right. stock photos, stock photos. And then I finally found this photo that was great for my subject. And then I would, then I like uh, photoshopped it to no end. Dude, I photoshopped the shit out of this photo. I see. Because like, you could see so much of the backdrop, but like I made a lot of the image black and like silhouette kind of yeah, way. Yeah, see that. And, and then I had AI take out the dog and the person and just put insert a person there. The Photoshop AI? Yeah. That's crazy. The Photoshop AI was pretty spectacular because I would, dude, it's f- spectacular. Like if I, I'll show you what I was, um, I'll show you what the image I was, uh, foggy. It's the same name. From- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's fucked. That's fucked. It's. Oh, up, 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 up. I saw it up. On the... Nope. It's not nope, it. nope. Foggy walk. Foggy night. I'll do foggy night. Yeah, it's it's the same name on Wiki. So I could... Here it is. It's... I mean, like, it's very remarkably similar. But, like, there's, a, like- there's a lot of things I did to it. So, like, there was just this dog and this person right here. And I was like, dude, I can't change that. There's no way I could ever change it. And then AI, the the Photoshop AI came out Dude, that fucking that's week. That's a different picture. Those you think so? Pictures. Like, yeah. Isn't that crazy, all the dude? Editing that you've done to it. Yeah. yeah. Those are two different pictures. Yeah. Like I put some color into it. I put a little purple into the background. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. And I don't know. Like I, I, I would like for, I would like for this rapper to hit me back up on twitter and be like yo finally finished that music because he was about to send me his music he was like dude he was like um i I feel what was he saying he was like i I feel like my words on here aren't describing what the feeling of the song is so i'm just gonna send you the song for you to listen to it so you can kind of get a feel for it i was like that's awesome dude here's my here's my email you know, here's my Dropbox. Wait, did you check your email? <sighs> I'm gonna check fine. All right, I'm gonna. Wait, check. I'm not telling you to check it now. I'm just saying. Like, let's, well, let's check it. Let's fucking let's check see. it to see if he. Let's see if he responded because I doubt he did. I doubt he responded. Yeah, yeah, Dropbox. I get it, dude. I get it. All right. Mm-hmm. What? You can't even access it. I can, dude. They it's just Dropbox. They're assholes sometimes. They're like, you gotta fucking renew. You gotta renew. It's probably like, uh, oh my god, they they're trashy, Dropbox. Well, this is the email I sent them because I wanted to give them an official email. I didn't want to give them my personal email. I wanted to give them the uh, um, owners of Aruga, but I maxed out the owners of Aruga Dropbox. <laughs> is there no like continue anyways plan? There's definitely there is. I know there is. I uh, hear. Maybe I'll just do this and then I'll get out of it. Uh huh. Yeah. I don't. I don't want that. See, isn't oh, that so screwy? My God. Isn't that so screwy? It's very right. scummy. And then shared. See, Man. no file shared with me. Ah. That's where that's where his file would be if he if he did want to share it to me. That's but, unfortunate. You know, yeah. And so, like for for like a month or two, I was going on this huge crusade on like I want to make music covers for artists. And so I started hitting up like I think I hit up maybe ten artists that I liked, and that my covers, my art covers would match their vibe and it's either it's either ghosted or they no response. they don't no response or they're like yeah that's cool all right and then like we'll do a back and forth and then they finally figure out it's like nah this isn't really worth it which is like i get it, it's it feels laborious because they want their covers they want their art covers to be a specific thing and then i can only give them 
so much. So much. You can't really read their mind. Pick I that. can't fucking read their mind. I can give them what I think is artistically a good thing, but it's not like I can give them what they have in their mind. They want this image that's in their mind. Right. They don't want a fucking. That's so funny. My girl. Ashley. Let me tell her to chill. She about, needs to make a call. So what about um that one rapper I from recommend. Cincinnati? Yeah, that guy's crazy. Um, nah, that guy made the me. The first one was crazy, but the other guy. Do you think they're both crazy? I think I. It's just like art. Music artists tend to be very. Um, what's the proper word I'm looking for? Risky. They just tend to be risky characters. <laughs> okay, <laughs> music artists tend to be real risky because like they're, it, like the. Here's one guy that I really was a big fan of, and he says he's from Cincinnati, and I was like, oh, that's so cool. And then his covers are so similar to how my art is. This guy. That's the one I recommended. Really? Yeah. Okay, okay. This guy I like. Okay. But on Did Twitter, you? he fucking ignored me. Ah. It's either that or he doesn't he doesn't check his Twitter ever. And so like like I'll look what was what was that guy's name again? I don't I love how this podcast has turned to like personal time. It is literally <laughs> personal time because like the thing is like what are, what are we supposed to do, dude? Like I We gotta get this sorted out sometime. Huh? <laughs> we gotta get this sorted out sometime. Right, right. I think it's this guy. What a name, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's quite a name. And the thing is, it's not like he's a fucking popping guy. He's only got he's only got eighty six followers. So like That's crazy. But this is what made me not want to be. Oh my you know, god! This what is, is happening? It, this is not what I wanted to be associated with, and also this as well. I don't oh, want to be associated no. with this. Oh no! You know why? Is that lean? It it is, it is. So it's like these kind of guys I don't want to be associated with. But also like he makes cool music. That's the issue. It's like these guys are not cool, but then <laughs> these guys make cool music. So it's it's such a give and take. And then that's crazy. So I I I can't message him because for some reason twitter's really weird and won't let me message him but i i tweeted at him and i i sent him a piece of art you know maybe i sent him like two or three pieces of art right. and i just it ghosting just complete ghosts and it's like all right i don't know what to do at that point it's like i'm gonna have to have an artist hit me up yeah for if sure. i'm gonna have any success with these fuckers it's pretty bad. Maybe we should just start rapping ourselves up on our own stuff. I mean, we got the mics and I got my the bars. F- my flow is trash. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I've rapped a, I've rapped a decent amount of, or at least I've like, I've practiced rapping a lot. And the thing is, my flow is so trash. My writing's trash. Like I'm, I'm too fucking. <laughs> There's only one way to influence the youth, and that's through rap. It's through only rap. through rapping. You you know, it's. I think we would be the first duo group that'd be white and black. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god! I don't think there would be any. Uh, do, can you name a single rap group that's black and white? That's mixed. <laughs> Drake. Well, he's fucking. I'm I'm talking it's about like blood. yeah. <laughs> when, uh, <laughs> you know, no. That's hilarious. His oh, yeah, kid is know. his kid's white as shit too. Not to not trying to bring race into it. But yeah, like, that was racist. That was definitely really? racist. Come on, that, this kid's white yeah, that was like, that's pretty bad. That what? was pretty bad. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Cancel Aruga podcast. No. Whatever. Okay. You're the one who's saying that. Yeah. I'm just trying to be friends. <laughs> you know, I'm not. I don't know. I'm not trying Dude, to talk Drake's shit. Drake's kid is he's a pretty baby. Pretty baby. Yeah. Is that the way you say a cute baby? Sure. You could say that. He looks perfect. He looks like a perfect child. He looks <laughs> like a, an angel. Okay. And like the picture with the beef he had with... Uh, don't make me fuck it up. Who was Drake beefing with? Um, are you talking... 
Pusha Pusha T was it that yeah he had beef with Pusha T I guess yeah it might have been him maybe maybe not mm-hmm. and he like released the fact that he had a kid like a Pusha T kid. did yeah so it was Pusha yeah, yeah. T okay and then Drake or it was your Drake or Pusha T like made a like a single or response or something they put your kid the kid's face online really yeah stop it that's when it like all started like drake has a kid yeah what? but then he also like but in that kid's name like my bad or something like that is it really yeah so god's plan do you know do you not remember that god's plan he's like i only love my bed and my mom i'm sorry right. well apparently his kid's name is my bed <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's what i that's what i heard i don't know if that's right though drake's child i don't believe you that he that push a t put um drake's kid as a fate like that is that's fucking rude as shit it's a don i can't even pronounce let me it see then. it let me see it Adonis. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. But Drake's son Adonis dropped his first song. No, he did not. <laughs> no, he you did want me to read this? Drake's son Adonis dropped his first song. The six year old raps about cars, iPads, and his dad. Drake's son released his first single, My Man's My Man Freestyle, on Monday. For Drake and his six-year-old son, Adonis, nothing says father-son bonding like releasing new music just weeks apart. That's actually kind of cool. I have to go. That's kind of cool. I can't believe he's six years old. Yeah. Seems like two years ago when he was just revealed that he was alive. I mean, that's true, but have you, like, there was, like, that interview uh, with, um, with... The lady that sleeps in bed with Drake? Not lady. No, 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 no. There was a um, there was an interview of of Drake's kid and some famous YouTuber. I don't, okay. fr- I don't fucking remember. But uh, Drake's kid was pretty, pretty good interview. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like he was a six year old kid that was pretty responsive, which was pretty shocking. That's crazy. Like he was very responsive. I mean, he was a six year old kid, so like. You know, six year olds will be six year olds, but you can't tell me this man doesn't look like a a freaking Greek like baby angel. You know what I mean? I mean, I know what you're referring to a uh, 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 cherub. That's yeah. what they refer to him yeah, as yeah, yeah, cherubs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, an angel baby. Yeah, I mean, he does look like the traditional Roman and Greek art for sure. Yeah. But you don't guy. look. It it sounds like you are about to make an altar for Drake, <laughs> not <Wow>. me. <laughs> Dude, you should do that. And have like Drake's kid as like stop, little chairs around stop. your shine. No, I'm okay. That's fire. I'm okay. That'd be so fire. I'm not into that. No, You're not like at all. The next Daruga. <laughs> or imagine an an Aruga Drake collab. And you That'd make be cool. Drake merch, and then you have mm-hmm. his son as a little cherub. <laughs> that would be fascinating that'd be crazy that'd be cool i'm not gonna lie to you but i would say for for uh, for aruga to have a to have a collab with ovio i think we would have to do a couple steps up well i think there's a few steps between us being able to have a collab with ovio and if that day could happen that would be fucking awesome yeah yeah Imagine, yeah, yeah like the o O and the O with the V, mm-hmm. and then you have the other O, and it makes like a triangle. That'd be, that'd be so that'd be dope. Fucking sick, that'd be actually. sick as shit. Damn. It's like, yo, X's know I like V's between my O's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone get this guy. <laughs> Someone get this well, that's guy. summer 16, bro. Summer 16, summer 16. Playing dirty, not clean. Out here looking like a damn football team. All repping one thing. I'm out here looking for revenge. <laughs> this man's geeking right I now. Do, that, Drake. I do. Stop Look it. You're, Drake. you're the one who fucking gave me the loaded gun of Drake. Yeah, <laughs> you're I the did. one who literally I, gave me the ammo to talk about him. What are I you talking don't know about? how his name even comes out of my mouth sometimes. I, I would agree with you. You don't spills. know. But, yeah, yeah. You want, you want to play some pool? Come on, play some pool. 
Stop All right, it. You, can play. you can play. You've already missed your I class. Guess. It's 226 right now. You already missed your class. I guess. I'll play some pool. And you fucking were an asshole to me at 44 <laughs> minutes and 40 seconds. <laughs> I read that written down. I no. read so I could take no. it out. Because you're being fucking giving me accusations where I don't want to. False accusations. False accusations. Because you know what? I don't think you can accuse me of anything until. I have the power. We to have edit. an IQ test, and then we'll wow. see who's. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Well, that's too dang bad because my really? IQ. My IQ is 70. I don't know if I can You know how that. close to 100 that is? Pretty close. Like, I'm pretty close to Einstein. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. No chance. Yeah, I would agree with you. I would agree with you. You good? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. All right, all right, all right. Well, thank you guys for listening. Um, you know, you tell us. Who's got the better music opinion? Is it me or is it Kahaya with his trash music? Ooh. Maybe I'm skewing and, bi- and giving a bias to you listeners already, but who knows? Money Vision 23, now it's 24. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, bro. All right. Have a great day, people. Enjoy yourself. You know, love life. And uh, that's all I got. Have a great day. Bye-bye. And we got to be ready. Visit arugastore.com today and enter the discount code OP15 for 15% off your order on all Aruga merch. Free shipping for orders over $50 is available as well. Thank you. The Aruga Podcast. Somehow somebody's always looking the other way. Now look at these guys. They look busy, right?